Hello, my name is Reverend Mack, and I'll be coming to you for a few minutes with the fifth saying of Jesus from the cross. The saying is, I thirst. It's coming from the scripture, John chapter 19, verse 28 through 29. And the scripture reads as follows. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar, and put it upon hyssop, and put it to his mouth. For a subject on the day, where is the water? Where is the water? I'm going to put it in the form of a question. Right now, we are living in a day and age that none of us have seen before. We have a virus that has us all shut up indoors and in the house, and some of us are afraid to even come outside for fear of this very serious virus. Our leaders are trying to do their best to keep us safe and trying to lead us through these difficult times, but um, they are struggling themselves. We are all in the same boat right now. There's never been a time that I've ever seen where we're all shut up in the house, no matter if you're rich or poor, if you're famous or just a nobody. We're all on the same boat right now. And we are trying to figure out what to do about this virus, how to overcome this thing. This thing has gotten to be so bad that whenever you turn on the news, they have larger numbers of people dying by the thousands. It's a very serious situation and not to be taken lightly at all. Yeah, I've heard so much bad news, it's become so bitter. It just reminds me of that vinegar that leaves a bitter taste in your mouth. I just want to wash this bitter taste out with some cold, fresh water. And it reminds me of a scripture where a young lady was seeking some water. And she came upon a well where she met Jesus. And Jesus was sitting there on that well and he was letting her know. He said to her, If thou knewest the gift of God and who it is that saith unto thee, Give me the drink, thou would have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. He is saying to this young woman, If you know who it is that's asking you for a drink of water, you would ask of him and he would give you living water. He said, if you knew it, the gift of God, and I know we have some Bible students who know what the gift of God is. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. We definitely need the gift of God in these very difficult times. We need the Lord and Savior to help us. We can't do this thing on our own. Uh, anybody who thinks that they can fight this virus on their own, uh, I just believe that they're in a losing battle. Uh, when we don't have to fight this thing by ourselves, we can ask the Lord to fight for us. And he's able to do it. He's the only one who, in my opinion, is able to defeat this terrible virus. He says unto her, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into eternal life, into everlasting life. We are able to go to Jesus and receive this water that he a place on the inside of us and it will be springing up as a well of water unto everlasting life. I know this saying because when I had my turn to come to the well and meet Jesus, I had an encounter with him. And when he gave me eternal life, it just felt like fresh water to me. 
And it was uh, to the point where it was bubbling over. I couldn't keep it to myself. I had to tell somebody of the goodness of the Lord. And God has been blessing me in my life. And he is willing and ready to bless you in your life. If you will seek him, you will find him in these difficult times. But we can't continue to wait and, and straddle the fence. We have to be serious about seeking God. And we have to just turn away from our wicked ways and seek after him. The scripture says in Isaiah 55 and 6, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. This is a time that we need to call on the Lord while he may be found and while he is near unto us. We need to quit playing and get right and just get to the point where we are leaning and depending on him fully for our survival. And God can truly keep you. He's a God that has all power in his hands. No one else can say that, that they have all power. Some people have some power. Some people have a little authority, but God has all power and all authority in the earth. And there is no virus or any sickness or any disease that is greater than our God. So I implore you right now to seek him and just give your life over to Jesus at this time. And allow him to protect your home, protect your family, and watch over you. That's my word for the day. Uh, thank you and God bless you. Amen.